that's the way they have it going. So welcome everyone. Um, I'm here. I'm excited. I'm going to try to keep this to 20 minutes or less. And um, I was going to record a couple of different ways. So we have this. All right. Thank you for taking time out of your precious and busy lives. I, I know that it's not easy, but um, to my teammates, I hope that you can learn a little bit more today. And to everyone new joining um, us for this webinar, first of all, thank you for coming. And if you can leave here with a couple nuggets of wisdom, I always feel like if you take your time to do something and you can leave with one or two things that you can put into action, it was well worth your investment of showing up. And um, as always, I try to make things fun and entertaining and go quick. So. To anyone I have not met yet, my name is Rochelle Jaggers. I'm the owner of the BeFit Studio. I have been a personal trainer and group fitness trainer for um, going on now nine years. I was just looking at like, holy cow. So nine years I've been doing this. I opened the BeFit Studio four, just over four years ago. We are an online platform where we bring live fitness classes to our members. Uh, many of which are here right now because that's how that team rolls. Everyone's so supportive and friendly and fun. So today we're going over something, whether you do be fit or not, this should relate to everybody's life and be able to be something that you put into play in your life because our health and our well-being and being active and healthy is a right and it is our duty to take care of ourselves and move that body and enjoy doing so. So right now we are going to talk about the functional fitness plan, which I emailed everybody. And if you don't have it, um, I'll send you a copy as well after. This is something I created in the last year for our VFIT team. And um, I realized not everyone was using this plan. And this is how I live my life. I have been doing this for the last eight or nine years. I've been injury free. I've had three kids. I run a business. I'm very active. And um, Living your life this or running your fitness by this little matrix truly is life changing. I think people think you have to grind at a gym hours and hours a day to get results, and it's not that way. Honestly, our team is a testament 15 to 30 minutes a day. If you do it correctly, you can be in the best shape of your life. And when I say in the best shape of your life, I'm talking about functionally fit people who can go out and enjoy the heck out of life, who can travel, play with their kids, their grandkids, their pets, go on adventures, be able to move around, lift things, right? If you think about a big old bodybuilder or some of these other athletes, they don't necessarily have a functional body that's going to allow them to thrive. And the reality is in my world and to my team, we're training for the most important event out there. And that is your life. And I truly believe that that is your, you're training for life to enjoy life, so make fitness fun. That's your number one rule with this functional fitness plan. That's why we put the fun in the beginning. You have to enjoy your workouts. So wherever you are, find a team that you like and that you enjoy being around people that make you smile, that make you want to show up and be around. Um, that is key. And then we're going to go over the four areas of this plan. It's simple. This is not rocket science. This is not anything that um, you've never heard of, but you might not have thought about fitness in this way. And once we get to the third and fourth category, this is usually where people are uh, falling off and not realizing how important these two categories are. So the four categories of fitness, in case you don't have this handy dandy handout, are cardio and HIIT. So cardio and high intensity interval training. I'll go through those a little bit more. Strength training. This, and then here's the two that most people are missing. Balance and mobility and stretching and recovery. All four are needed. All four are needed, and it doesn't have to be, um, like I said, hours in your day. What happens is most of us have a certain one of these categories that we love and we tend to gravitate to, and then that's all you do, or that's what you do 70 or 80 percent of the time. And you're creating imbalances in your body. So I will admit fully, I love cardio, I love high intensity, um, I just get that endorphin rush but I've built in all these other areas and now they all serve a function and, and I crave them in a different way. And I think once you start learning to do them all, um, even if you're not good at them in the beginning, you, you have an appreciation and you, you tend to love the variety because this is gonna make sure you never get bored and plateau, which is another huge, huge thing. If you're always doing cardio, like running marathons or just running, 
you're either going to get injured or bored. Uh, same thing with CrossFit or just bar or just yoga. So to mix them all in, it just makes it fun. So let's talk about the areas and then I'll quickly go over how you fill in this plan each week. And um, if you do end up doing VFIT or are a member, we have color, we have coded all of our classes, and you can't see this very well, to let you know what area that they, um, they fall under so that you can make sure you're getting a little bit of everything. So starting with the cardio, I get so weird because when I teach normally, I can see everyone, and right now I can't see. I can see who's here. Hi, Beth, I see that you joined in, and we've got... Uh, Maria and Sherry and, and Lindsay here and Lauren and La good team here. So we're going to go over my favorite, no kidding why I'm starting here, cardio high intensity interval training. High intensity is going to look different for all of us and for some this is actually an area that they resist. Cardio I see it all the time. It's a little bit uncomfortable, right? Your heart rate's getting high, um, you're getting yourself going. So that's what we want out of this section. We ask two times a week that you're getting this type of workout in. Um, it could be a nice brisk walk. It could be Tabata training. It could be Met Mashup. These are some of our classes, cardio shred. You want to get your heart rate to an elevated level, and that's going to make sure you're pumping your body with oxygen, uh, keeping your lungs strong, keeping your heart strong. This is kind of like the framework of your body. So if you're missing out on cardio, you're missing out on a huge element of your fitness. And because I'm not going to just sit here and talk the whole time, if you can, some of you might be driving, so it might not be possible. But if you can, we're going to do just a quick little cardio segment so you can feel, right? Because this is what I think is important, feeling what these different exercises feel like in the body. So for cardio, we're going to go ahead and start with some jumping jacks. This is not rocket science. The jumping jack has been around since the beginning of exercise. Guess what? It still works. It still gets your heart rate up. You don't even need to jump in a jumping jack to get your heart rate up. If you're lifting those arms up and down, stepping in and out, you are doing cardio, right? And surely our heart rate starts to go up and it takes about six minutes of activity to get your body flushing with fresh oxygen and blood. We always call it the six minute rule. Come in for six minutes, give yourself that time to get going and see how, you, and then most likely you just continue, finish your class. So you got five more seconds of these. Four, three, two, one, then we're gonna take it to some toe taps. Some toe taps, and all I'm asking you to do, whether you're doing it right now, you can even hear through my talking, I'm getting that heart rate up, my body's having to work a little bit more. And the blood is leaving just my vital organs. I'm going from surviving to thriving. I'm getting the dose, the dopamine, the oxytocin, the serotonin, and the endorphins, and then last one, we'll keep this short and sweet. Some lateral hops. These are just three basic fun moves. Everyone can do them all levels. But again, that dose, all of those endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, those change your mind, your body, your happiness. I mean, cardio is a bundle of happiness. All right, three, two, one. So you can see that. That was only about a minute. We don't mess around that beef fit. So that's your cardio. You want to be getting that twice a week, whether it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes. We kind of look at things in that segment. Ooh, that was good, see? All right, moving on to strength. This was, in all honesty, an area that I had left out of my fitness component for a long time. Um, it wasn't until really I started doing BFIT four and a half years ago that I really started to add the strength component. And with strength, the beautiful part is two ways to get strength, and we do them all at BFIT body weight. You always have your body with you. So it's a piece of equipment you can always use for resistance. And then weights. And it doesn't have to be heavy weights. We don't believe in lifting super heavy. As long as you have some resistance to your muscles, they're going to be strengthened. So we can go through, let's go through two different exercises just so you can feel strength, feel the difference between strength and cardio. So two times a week, again, with the strength component, muscle is a workhorse. When you have lean muscle on your body, and it takes a while, it takes patience because muscle doesn't come overnight, um, but when you have muscle, you can regulate your body temperature better, you're protecting your vital organs, your metabolism is faster, you're able to do more with less energy. So muscle is like, I always say, the work you put in in a strength workout, your body the next 24 hours is just 
trying to recover and repair and just work like crazy. So a couple strength exercises, body weight one would be squats, right? Getting low, putting some weight into those legs, squeezing the glutes, working that lower body here. So strength work, just putting resistance on the muscles. I think everyone gets the idea here. A plank is a great body weight exercise, push-ups, um, arm dips. There's a lot of things you can do. We get really creative. We have an entire class, ABCs, that arm, booty, and core, all body weight training. And then we have a lot of classes that are strength training. So we have, you know, you grab the weights, you can do bicep curls, you can take overhead presses, you can take tricep kickbacks. So we love strength training. Um, this morning I just taught a sculpt and stretch class and uh, tomorrow morning I have a circuit class. We have quite a lot of strength training on our um, lineup because that is something people tend to kind of not do if they don't know what to do. I would say, well, strength, my biggest thing for years was I just didn't know what to do, right? You'd go into the gym to the meatheads and they'd just be throwing weights around and it was so intimidating. And um, learning how to use your body weight and some weights is a good idea twice a week. So again, now we're up to four times a week, but these can be 15 to 30 minute spurts. We have a whole 15 minute express series of classes that get all of these in as well. So now, now we're going to the area that a lot of people aren't as aware of or don't um, focus. And you can tell I'm not in shoes. I actually teach most of my classes barefoot and that's up to you. But we do in some of our classes actually, they're barefoot specific classes and that is balance and mobility. This is a piece of the puzzle. Once a week, you wanna to try to get balance and mobility work. And talk about core training. Balance and mobility is the best training you're gonna get for your core because to really be able to use your body and have balance, there's not anything really more functional than that. I'm doing good, 12 minutes. We're already on to the third section. So balance and, mo and mobility. Mobility also means the ability to not get too strong that you can't move, right? You think about a bodybuilder and they're like this and they can't do anything or um, someone that's lifting really heavy. We want you to be able to move, to be able to get things, to twist, to trip over something and catch yourself. This is probably the category that I think is the single um, biggest game changer in your level of fitness. So at least once a week, we've got a lot of classes that cover this. In fact, I would say the trainers bring this into almost every VFIT class, but we have very specific barefoot training. We have a lot of bar classes. We have a lot of willpower, yoga, anything where you're kind of slowing it down, mindful movement, working your intrinsic muscles. So the the brains of your muscles, the supporting smaller muscles, right? We don't want to just work the huge muscles. Otherwise, it's like a sporting, I say this analogy a lot. It's like a sporting team. If it does not have a strong bench or second string, it's never going to win a championship. And that's how your body is. You need supporting calf muscles. So we can take it to some balance, come onto this right leg. And one just great balance move is just to sit here and just shift your body weight from front to back. And the thing I love about the barefoot training is the first couple seconds, I love doing this with our athletes because this is an area that they get huge gains when they start to work a little bit more balanced and mobility. We can take it to tree pose. So playing on one leg, gripping your toes. You can feel when you kick off your shoes, you can feel your feet and your ankles working. And just like you wouldn't build a house on quicksand, your feet and your ankles are the foundation of your body. There's no denying that, right? So having a strong foundation is gonna allow everything else to function better. Your cardio, your strength, everything is gonna be better when you take some time to work your balance. So we can do this on both legs. And then doing one-legged work is really good too because you can see if you're a lot stronger on one side than the other. But again, playing with your vestibular system, your eyes, Woo, we take it front to back and just playing with that balance. So I put this in the plan once a week. That's the minimum you want to do. You can do more than that, but minimum for sure. And then we're moving on to our last section. And that is now one of my favorite sections and I would never would have thought this years ago. And I swear this is why uh, this is the key to a healthy body and results. And if you're gonna like it because it is not fast, it is stretching. 
maybe you're not gonna like it. Actually, a lot of people have, I tend to find the people that love the cardio and the high intensity, and I was there, and I still am there, have the uh, opposite feeling about stretching, right? Because it's slow, it's like you don't feel that endorphin rush, you don't feel like you're doing anything. But leave this piece out, and you will never get to your full potential. I promise you that. You will get burnt out, you will get hurt, you will get um, imbalances going on in the body. We need to stretch. This is the one category we have luckily shared with the world. And um, we, we tend to break a lot of 10 minute sections of stretching into our classes. We have shred and stretch, which is 20 minutes of cardio, 10 minutes of stretching. We have a 15 minute stretch express class, sculpt and stretch, one of the most popular classes. We have that a bunch. 20 minutes of strength work and then 10 minutes of stretching. And then we have our unwind series, 30 minutes of stretching session. And um, even last night, my body was craving it. So I logged into unwind and never would have saw myself doing that years ago. But once you feel how much better you feel from stretching, you start to crave it, especially the harder you work in these other categories. It really is the key to recovery and results. And so slowing it down, people don't believe it, but a lot of times slowing it down is what's your body, what's your hormones, what you need more of instead of just always go, go, go. We live in a world that is go, go, go. We sometimes we need to tone it back. And um, you can stretch standing, you can stretch on the floor. We'll just do a couple of my favorite little standing stretches, um, crossing one leg in front and kind of reaching forward. You can feel the outside of those hips and the IT band area. And just, this allows our cortisol levels, a lot of other things going on in our body. Um, and those looking, and we're not about weight loss at all at BeFit, we believe that's a healthy byproduct from a good fitness routine. But um, those of you that are looking for a little bit of weight loss or to balance your hormones, stretching is huge for your cortisol levels, for your, for your body. And we can take that to the other side. It's gonna be around 20 minutes, so we're gonna be wrapping this up soon. And then always a good stretch to come on up. We spend so much time kind of forward, even if a lot of our exercise is just a nice chest opener. Awesome. And so that is the VFIT functional fitness plan. It is not rocket science, right? When something's too complicated, we tend to actually get overwhelmed and not even start. This is what we ask our team to fill out this plan each week. It's really fun to do because you get to, you don't have to do the same workout to get your cardio every week, right? You don't have to do 6 a.m. cardio shred every week. We have a list of how many classes of ours alone fit into cardio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different classes that fit that cardio square. So you can mix up your routine, but you still have this structure. And if you're anything like uh, me, I love a list and marking it off and feeling accomplished, right? That's like the key is like, you get to feel good. I did something, I filled out this plan. And for many, it really is eye-opening to see, oh my gosh, I am like only up in this area and I'm totally missing out on this part of my fitness. No wonder I'm getting bored or I'm getting hurt or I'm not seeing the results that I once was when I started. So um, to our members, especially, I hope everybody is using this. This is something we created for this team. Uh, it's a small little handout. Everyone got it by email, kind of goes over what I said. And if you are not a BeFit member, um, super special, and this is why we did this webinar, we, we always have given a free week to everyone to try BeFit. And these are live interactive classes. We can see you, you can see us, it's me, it's the same me. Um, I actually did pull a bit of makeup on today because I'm going out after this, but most of us just roll out of bed or home from work and we log into these classes. It's the most incredible team. And we've always given out a free week because we believe that once you try BeFit, you will see if it's the right fit for you or not. And it's a no credit card, no strings attached free week. Um, and if it's the right fit, you'll know, you'll know right away. But next week we're doing something super special that we've never done. And we only have 25 passes available. You get the free week, but you're going to get one of the VFIT trainers to guide you, to get on the phone, to work with you, to help you create this plan because your schedule is going to change. And I picked next week. It's the week before Thanksgiving. It's probably most people's one of their busiest weeks of the year. Well, guess what? You are only going to maybe uh, the best have one good week a year that you're like, yes, I can do everything I had on my schedule. 
I want you to come to be fit in your most imperfect time of life to see that this is the perfect solution. We don't slow down. I had 20 people in all my classes this morning. Be fit works when you take away all those roadblocks of why you can't work out, getting to the gym, childcare, not knowing what to do, not having the motivation to do it on your own. When you strip away all those things and you literally, like you came to this webinar, click a button and you're with this amazing team guiding you professionally. We're all trained. We know what we're doing. Um, between the VFA trainers, we just put it together. We have over 80 years of experience um, doing this. So we really are the pros and we like to have fun because again, that's why we put the fun and functional. Um, we, we, we have some good jokes coming in our classes. We make it entertaining. So if you're not a VFIT member, whether you're watching this recorded or um, live with us right now, seriously, there's not a string attached to this offer. You'll see you don't have to enter your credit card or anything load up that free week you'll have a trainer help you create a plan and you'll just see how how this how how easy this is 15 to 30 minutes a day uh what is that six seven times a week that's less than one percent of your life it is worth it to feel good the other 99 percent i'm only one minute over i said 20 minutes so um if anyone has any questions i'll open it up here but I hope if you even got one nugget of knowledge, like I said, it is our mission at Be Fit to show everyone that taking care of yourself, being healthy, being fit is your, it's possible for everyone. It doesn't get much busier than the team that we have. We have 250 members who are all busy, who are all now thriving at life and still taking care of themselves so they can go out into the world and be a better um, person, mom, wife coworker, friend, whatever you are, you want to just let your light shine and taking care of yourself is the best way to do it. Being fit, being functional and feeling good from the inside out. So that is my little spiel on the functional fitness plan. Nothing complicated or rocket science about it, but it works. I promise you, you follow this week in, week out, you will be amazed at yourself and you'll be proud and you'll feel good. So if anyone has any questions, let me know. And if not, I will leave it there. Um, we did record this. Um, I'm trying to see if, so yes, this is recorded. I also, I think it's streamed on Facebook. If it's on Facebook, hello everyone on Facebook land. And uh, let us know. And I hope to see some of you that are not BFIT members. Um, hopefully you can see we're a real life person. I'm a real life person, all of our trainers are. And you will be greeted with a smile and um, a lot of encouragement and inspiration coming from this team. So happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. I will stop the recording now. I'll stay after for a couple questions if anybody has it. Have a good evening.